Hey, what's up neighbors, AA Flare here, bringing you another Destiny video. Today's video, we're going to do a quick guide, or not so quick, but a full guide on the Undying title, which you only have, I think, about three weeks left to get at this point for some of the requirements, since the Vex Offensive will be going away. Uh, in this guide, I'm just going to give you the quickest and easiest methods of getting all the Triumphs done, so let's get into this with from the super easy triumphs to the medium difficulty triumphs and then to the collection page. Uh, since none of these triumphs are really that hard, I listed them from super easy to from to easy to medium difficulty. So we're going to start off with the super easy ones. We got front lines, final assault, offensive finisher, operative, and moonlight crescendo. So for the front lines triumph, it's just complete encounters. Pretty much just run the Vex offensive. Uh, from start to finish uh, three times maybe a little more than three times but it's it's super quick like you you'll just get this done all of these you'll just get done as you uh, do the other triumphs so that one is just pretty much run it final assault is just defeat the undying mind which you have really no choice at this point because it's the only boss option offensive finisher is just getting finisher final blows on enemies it's 100 finishers in quotation since powerful enemies grant more progress so just try to finish off like the the barrier champions and the overload champions as well as the the minotaurs that drop the uh vex craniums operative is just destroying oracles in the vex offensive which will just kind of get done as you complete this triumph and all the other triumphs and then moonlight crescendo is just the same idea finishers but on the moon, so as you're going around doing moon stuff, you've probably already finished this one, uh, just use your finisher, right? Now for the easy triumphs, we've got offensive expert, offensive tactician, offensive sharpshooter, over the moon, lunar fashion, dark side of the moon, and crater spark. So for offensive expert, it's getting hand cannon, submachine gun, bow, fusion, and auto rifle kills. In the Vex Offensive, Offensive Tactician is multi-kills with submachine guns, fusions, and auto rifles. Offensive Sharpshooter is precision kills with hand cannons and bows. So, the best hand cannons I found using, or to use, for this is Ace of Spades, Crimson, Ostringer, and Spare Ration when you're trying to go for those precision kills, and then Sunshot to finish it off, since Sunshot just gives you a ton of multi-kills in that area since all the, because all the explosions chain just makes it super easy. For some machine guns, go for Recluse or the Huckleberry. Risk Runner doesn't really work since there's not much arc damage other than the Fanatics that explode. Uh, so Recluse or, Ris or Huckleberry will just make your life super easy. For bows, pretty much any bow but Mo Le Monarch uh, since the damage over time makes it hard to get precision final blows. Uh, so literally any bow works. For fusion rifles, 1000 voices. Loaded question, Telesto or Jotun. Uh, 1k can literally be run as your heavy while you do all the other weapons. Letting you get uh, a ton of multi-kills with it. And it helps with the overall weapon kills since challenging enemies grant more efficient progress. So you'll be able to kill bosses easier since it's a heavy weapon. Loaded question is really great for multi-kills. And then Telesto and Jotun are you know, your typical run-of-the-mill exotic fusion rifles that are just good at add clear. For auto rifles, I have Soros Regime, Sweet Business, and Breakneck. Breakneck is actually pretty good uh, for just shredding low tier ads still, uh, even though people say it got nerfed to Oblivion and it's garbage. It's actually not that bad. Uh, give it a shot. It's, it's really not that bad. For Over the Moon, Defeat Vex Overlords on Earth's Moon in the Archer's Line, Hellmouth, and Anchor of Light. Even though it isn't 100% confirmed how to summon the Overlords, the most reliable way of doing it is by killing the Hydras that spawn while fighting the giant Minotaurs uh, that spawn during the Vex invasions in the public spaces on the Moon. After killing all the Hydras and all three boss Minotaur guys, the Overlord should spawn, and then you just have to do that in every single area. Lunar Fashion is completing public events on Earth's moon while wearing the full set of the seasonal armor. Now a lot of people got confused by this since the seasonal armor is the Vex offensive armor and 
The armor you actually have to wear is the Moon slash Dreambane armor. So make sure you have a full set of that, which you should have after completing the story or the Shadow Keep campaign, and you just do public events. You can literally do these as you wait for the uh, the invasions to happen for the Over the Moon Triumph. So, and then we got Dark Side of the Moon and Crater Spark. So this is just ability kills with Void and ability kills with Arc subclasses. Uh, easiest way I found to do this is by going to do the Altars of Sorrow public event on the moon as a warlock and just spam your abilities. Use Middle Tree Void Walker with Controverse Hold uh, for the Void or Dark Side of the Moon Triumph for the Void weapon of, or ability kills. And then for the Crater Spark Triumph, use Top Tree Stormcaller on a warlock with Crown of Tempest and just again spam your abilities. It should complete itself pretty quick. The melees you could actually run on a titan or a hunter as well, the melee ability, but for overall warlock is the way to go. It makes it super easy and quick. Finally, for the only medium difficulty triumph, we have perfect assault, which is in the effects offensive close the warp gate without dying. Uh, really the only tip for this is to play back and behind cover. Use things like crimson, the better already mod, to heal with Orbs of Light, Worm Husk with Top Tree Night Stalker, Devour, Ward of Dawn, Well of Radiance. Uh, just spam or use your supers when you're weak and just stay back uh, whenever lots of adds come in and just kind of or let the teammates do the, the work so you don't risk dying. Mm -hmm. Now for the collections page, we're going to start from just go in order here. We got the ship Spear of the Four, uh, which is obtained by completing a Master Nightfall ordeal. Uh, if you haven't done this already, just LFG a group. If you're on PC, use the Discord LFG. Uh, otherwise, use Destiny LFG or the Bungie app, and you should be able to find a group no problem. If you really can't find a group, try soloing it. It shouldn't be that hard at this point in the season. Most people are around 970 uh, at this point if you play enough. But then again, if you play that much, you should have already completed this triumph to begin with to get the ship. For the emblems and all the shaders, uh, these should somewhat complete themselves as you get the ritual, ritual weapons. Uh, however, the strike one will get into an easier way to complete some of these in a minute. The seasonal armor is literally given to you on the season pass, so if you somehow don't have the armor, just go to your season pass and claim it. That's literally it. Leviathan's Breath is an exotic quest. It's super easy. Uh, the only somewhat difficult part is the strike at the end, which literally has matchmaking, so there should be no issue in completing this quest if you haven't done it already. Now for the harder part of the collection page is the ritual weapons, starting with Randy's Throwing Knife. Uh, for the scout rifle kills, I recommend using Jade Rabbit, Polaris Lance, Mind of Multi-Tool, or the Scorpion SR3 or 6 or whatever the hell. The Vice uh, scout rifle, which is the same rate of fire and archetype as Randy's Throwing Knife. Uh, or any other scout rifle you're really comfortable with. If you can get kills with it, just use it, right? Uh, easiest way to earn the medals is by going for specific medals, I heard, which... Uh, the easiest ones to do are the Cold Fusion Medals, which is two kills with a Fusion Rifle in the same life, or Calculated Trajectory Medals, three kills with Nade Launchers in the same life, so you can run Mountaintop and a Heavy Nade Launcher, and you can get that medal pretty easily and multiple times a game. And then 2100 Glory is really easy to do now, uh, since Comp is kind of a joke at this point. And you also don't need to climb to 2100, you just need 2100 glory in total. So you can lose as many games as you want, eventually you'll get to the 2100 glory. For edgewise, you need machine gun kills, solar kills, and just kills in difficult strikes, granting more progress. Uh, so use avalanche or fixed odds, as these guys are solar machine guns, you can kill two birds with one stone. Uh, and either just use that weapon in nightfall ordeals, or you can farm in the old school nightfalls uh, that we used to run a year ago, or I guess in year two and year one, uh, you can just go into those solo and turn on heavyweight and just spam your machine gun away and kill a bunch of stuff in lost sectors or whatever, and it'll make the quest go a lot faster if you're sh stuck on time. For exit strategy, you need medals, points from killing enemies and banking moats, and SMG multi kills. Again, use Recluse or Huckleberry. 
Risk Runner can work if you're going against like Fallen or sometimes the Hive since they do arc damage and it'll make Risk Runner pretty much the best SMG in the game. Uh, for the points, pretty much just kill a bunch of stuff and bank as much as possible. Going for 5 uh, is the best way I heard of doing it. And then for medals, you can either continue to do get a bunch of kills, get massacre medals and banking moats and get half bank medals that give a bunch of progress or you can invade and try wiping the whole team which also gives a ton of progress as well and then for the vex offensive weapons you literally get these as you're running the vex offensive if you end up not getting a weapon you can just make the frame and get the weapon you're missing so that's pretty much it for the guide i hope you guys found it useful and you get your undying medal before the season ends uh other than that guys if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future content Peace.